Hi everyone, um, I am just back from Paris. You might have guessed in my videos and my blog posts recently and my Instagram pictures and whatnot that I spent a couple of days in Paris, France and I had a fantastic time. And I came home last night and I'm absolutely exhausted today because I didn't get in until about midnight and then I had to come in and go for a shower straight away when I got home because I hate plain residue and I just couldn't sleep in my bed and knowing that there was plain residue in my body and in my hair so I went for a shower, blow dried my hair, plaited it and went to bed. So if I look tired or dishevelled or whatnot today that is why and I apologise in advance. Um, but I am unpacking my suitcase now and unpacking all the makeup and stuff that I brought home and I've been asked to do a haul of the things that I bought so I got a lot of stuff when I was in France so what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide it into makeup and skincare and the skincare video will probably be about an hour long I got a lot of stuff um, so I'll just crack into makeup now and show you the makeup bits and pieces that I got where I got them how much they were if I can remember I don't have my receipts in front of me and any tips or tricks that I might have for beauty shopping in Paris. So we'll crack straight into it. Uh, the first batch of makeup that I got was from the Loop um, website. Now if you were from Ireland and you were traveling through Dublin, Cork or Shannon airports um, you might know that you can avail of the Loop services. Um, basically what it is it's like the online duty free and you can pick out what you're going to buy in the duty free. Um, it includes makeup, skincare, fragrance, uh, you can pick it out, you can pay for it before you go, and you can collect it at the airport either on the way out to wherever you're heading on holidays or on your way back when you're coming home uh, from that same trip. Um, it was, I have, oh, I've said it in my blog post, I did a blog post recently and I'll link it down below so you can read all my tips and tricks and I have a discount code there as well which I believe still works. I actually used it twice for my orders and there was no problem with it whatsoever. Um, I... Uh, I have bought stuff from The Loop before and I've hauled it before in many videos and I'm always talking about it and I said in my blog post and I was not exaggerating The Loop experience and duty free shopping in Dublin airport is one of my highlights of going anywhere on holidays um, I just love it, it's clean, it's fresh, people are nice, they're friendly and this shopping online system which I did for the first time was absolutely brilliant So basically what I did was I made two orders, I made one order about two weeks before I left and then I made the other order about four days before I left and you cannot make an order 48 hours prior to leaving so just bear that in mind if you're going on holidays and you know you are and you want to pick up something online just make sure that you order well in advance or as far in advance as possible in any case more than 48 hours in advance and I just picked up a couple of things the website's very easy to navigate it's very clear um, and it was very easy to do um, so the following things that I have now are a mixture of what I ordered online from The Loop and of course when I got The Loop I went a little bit mad as well and I found lots of stuff that I wanted. Um, so without much more chat I'll just crack into it and show you what I got. Uh, so I got this bad boy first and this is Yves Saint Laurent Le Teint Touche Eclat uh, foundation even, I was wondering what to call it. Um, comes in a fancy gold box, I take the shade BR20 which is beige and rose and it comes in a little bottle like this and thankfully the bottle has a pump as well which is very helpful. Um, I have been very curious about this for a long time. I've had two samples of it now and I really liked it. I'm actually wearing it today um, and I would say that it gives light to medium coverage but it's definitely buildable. It uh, feels really nice on the skin um, and I, I like it so far. Um, so, so far so good for that one from me and this was 30 euro and 60 cent in the loop and I think it's about 40 euro in Brown Thomas so you know that's quite a significant saving and if I was going to buy it obviously I was going to buy it in the airport. Uh, then I picked up this I didn't order this oh no actually I did order this online and I collected them when I was there but I heard a lot about it. It is the MAC blot powder and it comes in pressed format and I picked up the shade medium because I googled and I take NW20 in MAC and they said that this was good. Um, so as you can see it's just it's a nice pressed powder. Um, it's really finely milled. I've applied this all the time. It was actually really really hot when I got to Paris and I didn't bring a pressed powder with me so my foundation was getting a bit shiny so I use this every day when I was over there. I love it. I think it's great. I'm really really impressed with it so far does the job. I think it was 21.70 um, online 
and if you spend, I put up a voucher code, but if you spend more than, oh, I think if you spend more than 6 euro, you get 10 euro off, so there was, it didn't even cost me the full 2170. So then I picked up a blush. I didn't order this online, but I saw it there. It was on my wish list for a long time. Um, I'm having a love affair with MAC blushes at the moment since I tried Blush Baby. Blush Baby is like my hero blush. I'm wearing it today, if you can see. It's kind of a neutral pink. A full blog post about it and pictures in the blog. Link it down below for your reference if you're interested. Um, but the one that I picked up in the airport was Desert Rose, which as you can see is kind of a muted, rosy, pink, um, it's really, really nice. I can't really describe it. I don't know if it's a summer blush, but, um, it is, what is it? It is a matte blush as well, so, um, great pigmentation. You'd need a light hand with this. Um, but I've used it already. I do like it. And I'm happy I got it, and I can add it to my collection. I don't know if I love it as much as Blush Baby, but time will tell, and I will let you all know. Um, then I picked up some paint pots, and everybody knows how much I love MAC paint pots. Um, they're just my favourite eyeshadow base. I absolutely love them. I think they're brilliant. And I've actually seen these in Brown Thomas for a couple of weeks at least if not months and I really really wanted them um but I held out and I just waited for the airport and I have them here I have two and I got the shade camel coat which is a kind of um beigey gray it's very muted it's kind of like painterly but just grayer um it is completely matte as well um it's kind of like a, a latte color and I think that'll just be a gorgeous base for under, um, just day to day eye makeup. I love browns, I love grey, so anything brown or grey is going to be a winner in my eyes. And then I also picked up the shade Taylor Grey, which is this, um, darker, kind of more, uh, I don't know, cappuccino coloured, I don't even know, um, brownie grey as well. It's really really nice. It's kind of like cement, wet cement. It reminds me of the colour of wet cement actually. Um, so I'm excited to try those out. I will get so much use out of them. If they're anything like painterly they will last me forever. I use painterly so often and it's still going strong. I have so much of it left. Um, so what can you do? Oh, sorry, the prices. These were about sixteen fifty, I think. Um, I ordered them online and collected them then when I got there. Um, but of course, I used the discount code so they didn't cost me the full sixteen fifty eight, and they are twenty euro in Brown Thomas. So, if you're looking to pick up a paint pot and passing through Dublin Airport, I really recommend that you wait and see what they have. Uh, then I picked up the Bobbi Brown um, tinted eye brightener. Uh, I wrote my blog post, I did a wish list of what I wanted to pick up in the loop or what I was going to look for and I said in that that I was going to pick up the corrector. I've tried the corrector before, I take the corrector in light bisque and I do like it and I do find it very effective for under eye circles but the only thing is my under eye area is extremely dry at the moment and I just thought it would be better and kinder to my eyes to use something more liquidy so I picked this up, I also picked it up in the shade light bisque um, I've used it a couple of times when I was over there. I really like it. It doesn't cake under the eyes. It gives nice brightness. Um, I actually forgot to put it on today, to be honest. So that's why I'm not wearing it today. And I think it was about 20 euro, or maybe 23, something along the lines. But again, well worth it. And I know it'll last for ages, like my other one did. And then, of course, what trip to Dublin Airport would be a trip without picking up some MAC lipsticks? And I picked up a couple. So, um, this one here is uh, Lustering, which is a luster. I've wanted this for ages, really, really like it. As you can see, it's just this kind of, it's pink, but it's a little bit red toned. Um, really, really nice. And I love the luster finishes as well because they, they go on really nicely. They're not drying, they're perfect for work, so they're not too pigmented. Um, they're kind of subtle. Sometimes can be my lips with better colours. They're really girly, really easy to wear with loads of different eye looks and I love them. Uh, this next one then is Plumful, which again is one that I have wanted for a long time. It's kind of a, a dark plummy colour as you can see. Um, 
I really, I think it's really nice. It's kind of like a whiny, muted, mauvey colour as well. Um, so that's really good. And then this one is Syrup, which is another pink. It's kind of more of a mauvey pink than Lustring is. It's darker. It's kind of more of a neutral my lips but better colour and again wanted for a long time it's another luster because I'm obsessed with lusters at the moment and I picked that up and then the last one that I picked up is an amplified cream lipstick and I was I'm so surprised at myself that I bought this and I'm even more surprised at myself that I wore this when I was in Paris but this is up the amp which as you can see is a kind of purple but it's more bordering on pink um, I absolutely love this colour. I think it suits my colouring as well. Goes with lots of different eye looks too. Probably not too much makeup or too much eye makeup because you might look a bit, I don't know, over the top. Um, but I really liked it and I think it's a perfect day and night colour. It's a bit of a statement and unusual for me but I really like it. And then the last MAC piece that I picked up was the Pro Longwear Concealer. Again, I have the shade NW20. Read a lot about this. It's gotten great reviews. Um, comes in a little tube like that. With a little pump on top which will be really really helpful and I am looking forward to trying that out too. So then uh, that concludes my airport shopping which was more than enough you probably would say but of course when I was in Paris I went to Sephora as well and Sephora is one of my favourite places in the whole entire world it makes my heart sing going in there like the angels from heaven just shine down on me with all this beautiful stuff that smells lovely and is nice and colourful and everything about it. Like it's such a nice holistic experience for buying makeup as well because there's so many samples around the place, so many testers, so many people there to help you but they're not pushy. You know, such a huge selection. It's absolutely massive. I actually went to two different Sephora's when I was there. I went to one in, near the bus stop where I got off the bus. And then I went to another one, the one on the Champs Elysees, which is my absolute favourite all time, probably one of my favourite places in the whole entire world, <laughs> and one of my highlights, of course. So when I was there, I picked up a few things. I also had a Sephora wish list, which I'll link down below. Um, a couple of things were on my wish list. I saw them and I just, they weren't doing anything for me really. Like the Marc Jacobs eye palette, it was there. I saw it. I Instagrammed a picture. I was going to buy it, it kind of hovered over my basket for a while but I really just was not impressed enough by it to pay 53 euro for it. Um, what else? There was, oh there was this brush that I thought would be really handy, it was like a three piece one, I thought it would be great for travelling but it looked really flimsy and not great quality and there's other stuff as well. So anyway, instead of telling you what I didn't get, I'm going to tell you what I did get and the first thing I did get and one of the things I was most excited about was this Amp Sephora Express Nail Polish Remover. Same idea as the bourgeois one, it's just that, you know, pot where you stick your finger into the hole and give it a bit of a twirl and your finger comes out nail polish free. Um, I've read loads of reviews comparing this one to the bourgeois one and this one came out on top. Um, I really like the bourgeois one, I use it all the time, I think it's really really handy for just quick fix. I change my nail polish colours probably every day or every second day anyway, so I love it for that. Um, this was €8. Euro. Uh, which is fine. I think it's probably cheaper than the bourgeois one, if not in around the same price. And I really liked it. Um, and I'm looking forward to using it. I have used this already, actually. I did change my nail polish a couple of times when I was in Paris. I'm not wearing any nail polish at the moment because my nails are in bits from all the travelling and lugging suitcases and stuff around. I have brittle nails anyway, um, so that is why. Um, and then on the same theme of nail polishes, who goes to Sephora without picking up some Formula X nail polishes? So I have a couple here. I have the shade Impeccable, which is um, kind of a nudey pink. Um, it's definitely not a pink nail polish. It's not really a nude nail polish. It's some sort of hybrid in the middle between them. And I really like that. And I think it would be perfectly work appropriate. I got this one which is very unusual for me but I swatched it and I really liked it. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of a, a muted grey um, but it's kind of duochrome. It's just really really nice and that is in the shade Oomph. I got this one which is riotous. It's like this dark blue toned pink. Um, really really like that again. It's really nice. I'll get loads of wear out of it because this colour is right up my street. Um, 
and looking forward to trying that and then this one is the classic you know blood red really nice love this color in winter i'm all about blood red hills in winter um dark red and dark pink kind of get me through um and i just said when i was over there i'd pick it up now because i don't know when i'm going back to france again then I visited, uh, this actually didn't come from Sephora, but it came from the MAC store. There's a brand, well it's new to me because it wasn't there about a year ago when I went to Paris, but it's um, the new MAC store, it's on the Champs-Élysées as well. It's, if you're coming from the Arc de Triomphe, it is just, like, it's on the Arc de Triomphe side of Sephora, if that makes sense. Um, it's absolutely massive, it's really cool and funky in there, and what I like about it the most is that when you go in there, the staff don't harass you the minute you get in looking for you to buy everything. Um, I picked up a lip pencil. I think they're pretty new out. I haven't seen them before really. Um, I love these lip pencils. I love the Revlon one so I was excited to try the MAC one. They're 19 euro which is roughly the same as the um, lipsticks. And I got the shade Patent Pink which is kind of another lilac-y pink colour. Um, I haven't worn it yet, I haven't swatched it yet, I have to take pictures for the blog, but um, I really like that and it's quite sheer but I would say it's buildable as well, but I can't really give you my full opinion until I've tried it out a couple of times, so stay tuned for that. And that was 19 euro, I'm not sure, yeah, I think I said that, but just in case I didn't. And then my last stop at the at Sephora, sorry, was the Too Faced counter where I picked up a few things. Um, first two things I picked up were these. They are the Melted Liquid Lipsticks. I got the shades Melted Fuchsia, which is this one, which is Fuchsia, you would never guess. And I also have the shade Melted Peony, um, which is kind of like a, a nice dusky baby pink. Um, I saw these first on Amelia Liana's video. She, I don't know, was it a tutorial or something? Well, she tried this on and I thought, oh, that's interesting. But I kind of forgot all about them until I actually got this for and I saw them. And I swatched, they had about six shades, I think. I swatched them in my hand and they looked gorgeous. They actually had a violet version, it's called Melted Violet, which I was so drawn to. Absolutely loved it, but I knew I would never wear it, so that's why I didn't get it. I picked up two that I'm more likely to wear. They come in little tubes like this and they have a little kind of a sponge tip applicator. Um, so you can just apply it. Um, I haven't obviously used either of the two of them yet because I wanted to take pictures for the blog first. Um, but they are really, really nice looking at least. Um, really looking forward to trying them out so I have to take pictures of them soon so I can give them a whirl. And they were 20 euro each, which isn't too bad. And then the last thing I got, last makeup item, was the Chocolate Bar Palette. Um, this is by Too Faced. You'll never guess, before I take it out of the box, you're never going to guess, it is a neutral eyeshadow palette. I mean, I'm sure you've all heard of this. It looks like chocolate, it smells like chocolate, and it has colours of chocolate. So there are all the colours there. Um, you can see it has pretty much everything. It has a million different varieties of brown, it has a large matte cream and it also has a large shimmery cream colour and then the other ones are kind of all standard size. Um, there is a pink and a purple in there. There is the pink and there is the purple and I'm not sure if I will ever use them. Um, I don't know, I just think they're a bit... I don't know, oh, what am I doing? I think they're a bit bright or something for me but maybe you might incorporate them into crease or something or maybe you will flash a colour in the lid I'm not sure um but I really really like that and it smells so good it actually does smell like chocolate I thought it was gimmick but no it does smell like chocolate um it says in the box um that this is in slimmer packaging so I haven't seen thicker packaging um it is pretty slim it's in a nice metal sturdy case um similar to the uh, Naked Palettes by Urban Decay and I actually think you probably get more product. I know you have two big shadows but I'd say those smaller ones are probably bigger than the Urban Decay shadows as well. Um, and they're the same price, they're 44 euro so it's just an alternative if you are a neutral eyeshadow freak like I am. But anyway, that is my makeup haul like I said, stay tuned for my skincare haul. 
because that is going to be a long ass video because I went mad and there might also be a little surprise giveaway in that video too. Um, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about any of the products that I just mentioned, just let me know. Um, if you're in a particular hurry to see reviews of them, let me know. If you have any questions about beauty shopping in Paris or any questions about beauty shopping in the Loop at uh, Dublin Airport, um, just feel free to ask. If I can help you, I will. And that's pretty much it for me. Thanks for watching.